Years ago, I was sitting in the lecture theatre hearing a lecture about prehistoric forts, and uh, we were shown lots of slides, and a lot of them showed uh, vertical walls with a sort of sloping bit at the bottom of them on the outside like that, and uh, the lecturer was saying, so you can see that what this is for is for stopping horsemen getting close to the walls. And I interrupted and I said, why would they be frightened of horsemen getting close to the walls? What's the horseman meant to do when he gets quite close to a fortress wall? Hit it with his sword? Why, why would that be a threat to the castle? And ten marks to the lecturer, he said, ah, yeah, fair enough, I think you've got a good point there, and he accepted uh, it and, and carried on. Um, you see, horse archers and, well, cavalry in general, completely rubbish at taking fortifications. Uh, now, another uh, conversation I was having with someone uh, about wargaming many years ago, he just said, well, just get an army of Parthians. His idea, you see, was that Parthians were just invincible on the battlefield because there's nothing you can do to them. Uh, Parthians, you see, had lots and lots of horse archers and if you charge a load of Parthians, they're on light horses, they just fall back and they can fall back faster than you can charge, particularly if you're heavy infantry or something, and all the time they're twanging arrows at you and wearing you down. You can't catch them and they can just ride up to you whenever they want, twang, 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 and ride off and with a Parthian shot, twang, even twang at you over their shoulders as they're retreating. All the big cheats. And remember, remember Karai, you know, so, yeah. and um, so this is uh, an idea that got into a lot of people's heads um, about which I think a lot of rubbish was written, which was that, that the horse archer was completely dominant, the invincible force on the battlefield, except they weren't. I put it to you that, in fact, the horse archer, just as the horse archer, like lots of cavalry, is pretty useless for taking a fortification, the horse archer is actually pretty useless for lots of other applications as well. So, for instance, uh, there's a hill. For some reason, you want to hold that hill. Okay, so for defending a point, you've got a load of horse archers on that hill. Okay, great. And then a load of heavy infantry come trundling up the hill. And um, what are the horse archers going to do? Well, they, they could, of course, slaughter all the, heavy, all the heavy infantry to a man just by twanging loads of arrows at them. But, in fact, archery was not that effective. Uh, okay, so uh, what are they going to do now, then? The heavy infantry is coming really close. Well, they can fall back. Aha, he didn't get us. Well, no. The heavy infantry doesn't get the light cavalry. The light cavalry gets away, but the heavy infantry secures the position it was after. It captures the hill. For defending a hill, or almost any point, against a um, determined enemy, horse archers are... A bit rubbish really so you can't defend stuff with them okay what if you need to take a position quickly so the 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 horse archer commander is told quickly we need to take that hill off the enemy you know you see he's on top of that hill with loads of let's make it heavy infantry again okay and how do you do it quickly i mean yes you could ride around and around and around the enemy and eventually either cause them so many casualties that they run away or you actually shoot them all but that's pretty unlikely to happen. So if you want to take any position quickly off the enemy, no, horse archers really aren't the thing either. Um, so you can't defend and you can't attack quickly with them. Uh, okay, um, what might defeat horse archers? Well, um, how about foot archers? You see, if I've got a bow and I'm standing on my own two feet on the ground, um, there can be another guy just there and another guy just there and several guys behind me as well, and they could be shooting over my head, and we can all be shooting loads and loads and loads of arrows, really dense storms of arrows, far, far denser than you can ever manage off a horse. Because the horses, as they're galloping around, need a lot of room. And so they're not going to be shooting quite as fast, and they're not going to be creating anything like the density of arrows in the air. And a horse is quite a big target and very difficult to armour, so it will be very vulnerable to arrows itself. Um, and if you're galloping along on a horse, then your accurate range on a, uh, with your bow is not going to be as good as the range of a foot archer. So the foot archers will outrange you and uh, outshoot you, and you are more vulnerable to their weapons because of this large, expensive largely unarmoured horse that you're riding. So in fact, um, horse archers are not that great. Yes, they did occasionally prove themselves extremely useful and there were, there were victories to the Huns and the Mongols and the Parthians and so forth. Um, but if they were really so utterly dominant, why didn't everyone just use horse archers all the time? They didn't. 
uh, there were quite a few solutions to the problems of enemies having horse archers. Um, now, of course, the horse archer as part of an army was very useful because you could use them for scouts and for harrying the enemy and for slowing him down and wearing him down, attacking him on the march. There were loads of useful things that horse archers could do, but the idea that horse archers were this super dominant uh, type of soldier uh, is, I think, a bit... I think it's wrong. Lindy Mage!